Hey guys, Sarah here for another weekly prep. I love to take you guys along and I like to show you how we create balanced lead sticks as a family. You guys seem to really like our weekly preps and I would love to know before we even jump in, what are your favorite parts of the weekly preps? What do you wanna see more of in these videos? So that I can make sure to include that. Our comments are disabled, YouTube has disabled them. I've been trying for two years to get them back to no avail, but you can always go over to our community tab, find the thumbnail for this video and comment there. So it's actually Sunday. Um, normally I film Saturday and Sunday, but yesterday we just wanted to knock out a lot of things and it just wouldn't have been very interesting. And so I'm gonna film today because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys um, and just some fun stuff we're doing. I'm gonna first show you some things I've purchased that I think you might want to buy for your kids or might be interesting for Easter baskets or learning at home. So we are going to homeschool next year. I just did a whole video on why and why we're deciding that now and our decision about that, which I will link in the description below. But our girls have been super into nature and looking at nature. So I got these magnifying glasses. We had some that I had purchased, but they broke. So these are supposed to be like break proof, shatter proof for kids. So I got a set of those. And then I also got a set of binoculars for our girls, just two, because our little one's not big enough yet. I'll get her some when she's a little bit bigger. Um, so we can look at birds and things and take them on walks and really just, you know, get to see our environment up close. And then for a few months, I've been seeing this thing on Instagram from this company called Munchkin Lane. They have these monthly workbooks for like preschool and kindergarten ages and I, I've been wanting to buy them but I didn't want to pay like almost $20 a month so I just got their download their $10 download and printed out it's a huge I mean all these pages um, to use for our three-year-old just to get her um, we have been doing some curriculum but I just thought this would be more fun for her um, journaling and things and finding the number three and just maybe do a page or two a day. There's also this um, trace your name thing, which we can use over and over. I thought I'd put it in a dry erase sleeve. And then we also, I thought this would be fun to do along with circle time so that her and the little boy I watch could actually be filling something out about the weather, how they're feeling, what the date is and things like that, just to kind of get used to it. I thought that might be kind of fun. I'm also gonna put those on a dry erase sleeve. So I will link to all these things below. Um, but we're gonna start trying that out and I just wrote her name on there. Just quickly picking out my girl's clothes for the week. I'm not gonna do my three-year-olds because she's very particular and we're not going anywhere, so it's not a big deal. But for my five, six-year-old, um, just planned out her outfits for the week. I'm just gonna put them in her little organizer right here. We are gonna start our resurrection eggs for this year because Easter is in two weeks, so we're gonna do an egg a day um, leading up to Easter. And then we got this book to go along with it. We're gonna read one page every day. Celia and I are super excited to be going on a mommy-daughter date. Um, I read this book called The Family Board Meeting by Jim Shields and highly, highly recommend it. It's a great book talking about the importance of one-on-one -on -one time with your kids. And so we're gonna do that today. I'm not filming a lot because I really wanna spend focused time with her, but just letting you guys know, I'd highly recommend that book. It's a super quick read um, and just an amazing look at why it's important, how to do it, that kind of thing and things to talk about and things to do just really really fun and it really inspired me awesome we just got home we had the best time we just went to a couple stores there was like nothing to actually do and it was so windy so it's not like we could go it wasn't like a good day to go for a walk or anything but um we got her a bike some bike accessories and then we ended up going to Target and just looking for a few things and we went out to eat and we also got a few books at the bookstore so I'll show you guys quickly what we got but we just had a wonderful time just the two of us and I highly encourage you to do this with your kids she bought with her own money one of these Barbie color reveals and then we also got one for her sister as uh, for not being able to join us but she's going next week with Sin, and then that's what it looks like when you open it. We got these LOL chalk holders to try out to see if we like them because maybe then the chalk won't break so much. Got her some new knee pads and stuff because the ones she had were pretty small and a new bell for her new bike, new helmet. Um, we have some of these but this is the other half of the set and I love playing with them in the bath so we got those. 
I got some earrings at Target. We got a swimsuit because um, well, I want to see if it fits, first of all, and you can't try them on in the store. So, um, because I don't know exactly what size she is for swimsuits, I feel like they run kind of big. We got some readers at the bookstore that she picked out. Got some summer shoes. We'll also get some like hiking sandals, but they didn't have a good selection. Um, and then we got the newer version of Guess Who because we have the older version and I feel like there's only like a few girls in there and um, I think this one's probably better. And then we got some new masks I need to wash, but it's so hard to find kids masks in stores that actually fit their faces and I don't want to order them and then have them be too big. So I don't know, but they fit, they're adjustable, but they also fit me. So there's that. Kids are down for naps. Celia is just resting. Um, it's my job now to take care of this giant mess. We get so many boxes over the course of the weeks, uh, holidays, and stuff like that, that it just piles up in our garage just because it's just too much to fill in our recycling receptacle each week for the garbage man to take. So it just piles up and piles up and piles up, and you know, Amazon Prime is easy to just order a bunch of junk, and there's even more boxes. So I need to break down the boxes move them to Sarah's dad's trailer, which is out here in the driveway, right there. Um, he's got some stuff that we need to work around, but um, I'm gonna get started on that, and then this whole spot will be a little more clear, not 100%, because there's still things that we can't put in there, like there's like my old car bumper up there, old crib right there, so that can't go in there, but once I uh, clear this up, it's gonna look a lot nicer at least, so we're gonna get that started. I have been reading up a storm this month, which is my goal, and I just did a whole podcast episode, but I also did a video version if you guys want to see that. All about reading is my Kindle. Um, I just finished The Call of the Wild and Free, which is a book about homeschooling, and now I just started this that a lot of people recommended called Teaching from Rest by Sarah McKenzie, which is also a homeschooling book, um, and she also on, what is it called? classicalacademicpress.com. You can also get some audio recordings of interviews she's had along with this um, like guided journal that goes along with the book. So I downloaded that, it was 10 extra dollars and I'm gonna fill that out while I'm reading. But I just have a few things to take care of. Um, well, I, we went to Target and I saw that the Osmo stuff, which I have been thinking about getting for homeschooling and just for making screen time more learning based and interactive. Um, if you're not familiar, Osmo is like add-ons. They have a uh, iPad version and they also have a Kindle version that like a Kindle Fire version and it basically is like a mirror that you put over the camera and you interact with things in front of your device and it like gets sucked into your tablet and you can play games and things so there's letters there's shapes there's princess ones there's coloring ones there's like detective ones there's so many different things um and so they were on sale at target for 30 percent off which is amazing plus it was buy two um like games get one free and online it said that's included so i'm gonna look because i couldn't find any for the kindle at Target and I, I'm hoping they have some for the Kindle with that deal because it's a great deal um, to get like a good starter set and maybe one game because I want to get one for both of my girls for their Kindles because I know if one's doing it the other one will want to be doing it so I might get like a and Bryony's younger so and then Gwenny can eventually use the one Bryony has when she gets a little bigger so I'm gonna look to see if I can find that online. Getting some St. Louis ribs ready for the grill smoker. Uh, we're gonna get a uh, meal mustard in there as a binder. Then I got this awesome dry rub from Cosmo Q's. You can get this on Amazon. Uh, I got this for my birthday or Christmas. Don't remember. Honey Killer Bee, fantastic. Goes great on just about everything. And yeah, it's a big bottle and it'll last us a long time. So I'm excited to give this a try. Set on my directions. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's starting to melt a little sticky. bit. It feels sticky. There you go. You gotta do that. It feels sticky. It's pretty cool. This one is cold activated, and the other one was hot activated. I don't know. They probably work the same way, but that's kind of pretty cool. <clears throat> nice little surprise. 
I guess you are supposed to use just hot water, so these are what they look like. They reveal what they look, they, the paint or whatever it is wipes off, and then, yeah, it shows you kind of like an idea of what they are. And yeah, it's pretty cool, Not, pretty cool. The toys these days, interesting. Well guys, I went to take a 20 minute nap and I slept for an hour and a half, so there's that. Apparently taking your kids on a date when you're not used to going anywhere wears a person out. I'm sorry, but how cute is this baby? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Girls are playing. I should show you. Oh, is that the only cookie left? See, I made these amazing Lucky Charms cookies, but that's all that's. I'll pop a picture in here. <laughs> she picked off yeah. the marshmallows. <laughs> that's so funny. Mm -hmm. We want, I was thinking of going for a bike ride. It's so Chilly. windy, but it's like 60 degrees. So I already planned for the week in my planner. I just did a video on how I do plan in my Filofax. I'll link that below, but now Sienna and I are gonna sit down and just go over the plan for the week together. So we're on the same page. Playing Chuck and enjoying her new bike. So Sunday is usually when the girls can have like whatever they want for supper. We do more kid food, so they often will do mac and cheese. That's when they pick that. And since it was St. Patrick's Day this week, they didn't, they, Celia's really been asking for green mac and cheese. So they're going to make green mac and cheese. Are you going to do the honors? Start off with just, just a little like bit. A dro one drop. Uh, one squeeze. squeeze. Yep. <laughs> okay, mix it. I bet that's gonna be. Wow. That's very likely. Papa already did it, honey. Uh, I think you got it right. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> Do you want to help mix? <laughs> can Brady help mix too, Sils? Of course, once I get my store handy. Once I get all the cheese mixed in. Brian, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll let her do it. Now you can do also. Gently mix. It's green mac and cheese. Okay, gently mix it, please. It's like green food coloring in. It doesn't change the taste. Taste, that's right. Perfect. Good. Okay, Papa's got to let it sit for a little bit now. This is our delicious spread. Girls are excited and we're excited. Yum. Before and after. We're getting ready for Basque when he's going to have a bath. Something I like to do before I start winding down for the night is just kind of getting stuff ready for the morning. So I got our Benjamin's box book. I'm not getting the resurrection eggs out because if the girls get downstairs before me, they're going to open them up. And the whole point is to not open them up and to do one at a time. Um, and then we're reading this, The Secret of the Hidden Scrolls, book two, during breakfast. And then we may or may not have had a little bit of a rough night with listening. Don't know. It's like every Sunday night. I swear. I don't get it. It's... I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know if it's the same at everybody's house, but Sunday nights are just like really hard at our house with listening. So Kindles got taken away and they had been listen, watching like 15 minutes of Kindle time in the morning if they stay in bed at night and they stay in bed till the clock turns green in the morning. But those got taken away for tomorrow. Um, so I just got out some puzzles for them so that I can focus on getting breakfast ready and getting Gwen ready and everything. And then I also got out some slime and Play-Doh and tools. So if they want to do that, they can just to give them something to do because I have a lot to focus on in the morning. So that's what I did tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I feel like I didn't film very much today, but um, I'll be back next week for another weekly prep and some other content. So make sure you check back. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.